Hey guys, it's Retro Gaming now, and I'm back with Mist Uru Complete Chronicles. So right now we have two of our pillars set up, and we have two more books left to go to. So this one leads us to Idrakimo and Idrugira. But before we go there, I'm actually going to change my clothes because I'm starting to get tired of this. And plus, we're definitely going to be needing shorts, as you'll see why in a minute. So just for the heck of it. Shorts. Looks good. Let me see, do I have a shirt? Um, yeah, sure, Explorers. Baseball shirt. Yeah, we could go barefoot. Nah, let's do sandals. Alright, looks good. So real quick, let's read the proverb for either Kimo and either Gira. So... This one? No, this is the wrong expansion. It's this one. Idrakimon Idrugira. When all is taken from one, the only hope that remains is given to an by another. Through its giving, both are redeemed. Alright, so let's go ahead and link on out there. See what we've got. See why it's two ages instead of just one. Or is it two ages? Here we go. And here we are. It is very hot, it looks like. Sort of a desert. We've got some sort of shrubs. These molten uh, lava things. And these sort of air vents. And we've also got some sort of covering, so let's see what happens if we step on the lever. It closes it. Alright, um... Well, let's just close it, see what it does. If it does anything. Alright, so let's just keep exploring, see what we've got here. Let's head on up here. And uh, down there we've got some lava, looks like. Yeah, see why I wanted short? It's very um, hot. So over there's our first linking cloth. Or, er, sorry, not linking cloth, journey cloth. But, shoot, I thought I had it. Let's try jumping there again. Well, the mouse movement seem a little laggy today. Nope, can't seem to jump on there. So, let's see if we can figure out a way to get up there. Um... Let's head on down here. Shoot, I missed. Very uh, hot and dangerous. Alright, so let's head back there. In the red book. So, let's try jumping this time. Oh, shoot. Maybe I've got to jump to the smaller ledge first. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try. Wish it was faster. I don't even get how I actually link, since the book never actually really opens. Like, how does that... how does that even work? Um, alright. So we want to jump down here. Did I make it? Um, I... no, not really. Because I don't want to jump. Alright, one more try. I think I'll get it this time. And, you know, like I said before, this is one of the things I dislike about Uru. These stupid platforming puzzles. 
that's not what mist is. But whatever. I think this time we get it. Like in Riven, we never had to do this, did we? It's definitely not in the original mist. Alright, so fall down here. I'll try jumping a little earlier. Ah! This is so bad. Like, how hard does this have to be? Like, they could have at least put it, like, on the edge of the wall so it wouldn't make this mistake again and again. But we've got to hit that. I don't get it this time, I'm going to go ahead and jump, a skip ahead to when I actually do get it. Yep, alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cut, and then when I actually get it, I will come back. Alright, I think I know how to do it. I think we've got to jump from the other side. So we're heading on up over here, and I think we'll make it this time. There we go. So let's go ahead and step on that to close that one up. You can see it's starting to buckle a little bit under the pressure because all of these uh, vents are connected. So we have to link back to Relto to get out of here. But all these um, vents are connected by pressure. You can see they get these pressure blasts every once in a while. So we're going to just slowly build up the pressure and see if we can use it. The hope is that we could fling ourselves up to the linking cloth. Uh, sorry. Um, journey cloth. I don't know why I said that again. Since we honestly don't really have any other way to get up there right now. So right now we've got three activated. In fact, I'm going to deactivate this one so we can activate it last. So, how do I... We don't want to accidentally overdo the pressure too much. So, sit on back here. Jump. Are there any up here? There's one, at least. Alright, there we go. Keep heading on around. And spiky thorn vines. These are kind of cool. They're like, oh, uh, what are they called? The uh, um, carnivorous plants. Here up here, we've got some sort of like power generation thing, maybe, because it's sucking lava. It looks like. Well, if you need lava, this is the place to get it. Alright, so let's head on over to this side of the path. And here we go, we got a couple more down here. another one right here. Oh, and there's actually journey cloth right there. So we might actually have to head back over. You can see these things are starting to rumble and shake a little bit under the pressure. And that's exactly what we want to do. Can't get over there though. So let's head back. We're actually going to go hit that journey cloth. I unfortunately, missed that. That one should be pretty simple to pick up, though. However, I do believe we've got all of our um, 
thing, uh, what are these called? Covers set up. And so I think we should be able to launch ourselves up if we close that one right there. So let's go ahead and try that real quick. Let's see if we can get up to this journey cloth. And then head up on here. Oh. That was uh, disappointing. Do we open all of them? Yeah, we opened all of them. Alright, so we'll get back to that in a second. But first we want to grab this one here. There's one. Now we're going to head back to Relto, unless we can make this jump, which we definitely can't. And back once again to Idragira. Alright, so we're going to try and shut these things again to get ourselves up to that ledge. So we want to leave this one open and shut this one. There's a total of five of these. So we'll just keep counting. There's one of them. Five that we need to close. There's six total, actually. Right, that was unclear. There's one. And we're going to have to hit that one again, aren't we? Yeah. So let's go grab that. We still know how to get to it now. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I hate this section of the game. It's, uh, it's just such a bad design. Like, it, it's, this is one of, another one of my least favorite puzzles. It's just like jump. The, the problem is the jumping mechanics just aren't aren't very good, honestly. Like the whole movement thing is kind of cumbersome, but like figuring out how to place your jumps and stuff is just certainly not easy to do. And Mist is not supposed to be a game where you have to try and figure out how to do this stuff. This stuff. Like I mean, it's okay. I mean, for like an actual platforming game. But, alright. There we go. What just. What? Oh, these things is like floating me up a little bit. The steam blast. And I can't get out of here because it's doing that. Alright, there we go. So, uh, let's activate this. So there's two of them. And we gotta go back to Relto yet again. But at least we'll never have to go back to there. Or that uh, stupid, that ledge one. Alright. So we've got two of them closed. There's the third right here. There's four and five down there. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. I didn't see that. Alright. Um. <laughs> Last trip. Last trip to Relto. So, hopefully. This is ridiculous.
All right, um, we got two more on the other end. Can I just drop down? Yes. So you can see our steam blasts are considerably higher now. And so hopefully we can get that last to take us all the way up to the Lincoln Cloth. Why did I say Lincoln Cloth again? Uh, the Journey Cloth up over here. I'm getting it confused with Lincoln Stone. That's what I'm doing. So, head up around here. And you can see we've got a considerable amount of, like, force coming out of this now. Hopefully it'll be enough to get us up there. We Just like that. So there is our second cloth. So since there's no other way to get out of this place, we're going to have to actually try and see if we can do that Again, you can see there's a waterfall over there in the distance. And maybe there's a one of these steam vents that we can use to get out to that. Like this one, maybe. So we're going to open this one, and then go up and close the other one. And hopefully this should propel us up over this short little wall probably climb over this, but we can jump and not climb because it's missed, so. Uh, back to close the journey cloth one, and then we'll finally be done with this puzzle. We'll never again have to return. And I'll put another part of this, there's just so much walking, like it's just time consuming, honestly. I don't fall into the lava. I think we can jump off here. Yep. And how could I, like, make these huge jumps? I should be breaking something, but I'm not. Of course, honestly, that'd be way worse if you had to link to Relto after, like, a fall like that. Alright, so let's see if we can... Yep, there we go. And that one didn't really shoot me as high as the other one. Here's the hot sun. Alright, so we got some sort of archway here. The bones of, like, a large animal. Lots of bones from a very large animal. And over here we've got a linking book. And this linking book takes us to Eater Chemo. So there's two ages that are side by side. But we're not going to go there yet. Let's gonna keep exploring this age fully. So let's go to this waterfall. Also, being able to go in water is something that you can't couldn't do in previous mist games. Here we've got a torch or something. Doesn't seem to work. It's all torn up. This one works though. And yep, still works. Maybe maybe I miss, made a mistake with this one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Some light. So maybe we can actually head up into this cave. We need another torch, though. And I can't see where I'm going. Um. Yeah, this is a... I don't think we can head up there yet. It's too dark. So we'll have to be on the lookout for some sort of light. Here we've got a linking stone. 
which looks like it takes us to Dunny. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to keep exploring this age, and then when we're through with that, I'll take the stone. Oh, right, of course. I can't make that fall. All right, then. Also, shouldn't my uh, relative book not work once it gets wet? Oh, no. Oh, okay, I think the foam or, or the the um, steam vent should be ready, or still set up. Because we didn't find a journey cloth yet on the other end, so... It's a close one. Alright, so... We should just take this, shoot it straight over. so perfect. Like how, how could that ever happen in real life? So let's look around for a journey cloth. I don't know where, where any of them are. Is there one in the cave, maybe? There's a bunch of baskets here. Here's a basket. And we can get around just like we did in Teledan. Um. Hmm. Well, since we can't seem to find a linking cloth, we're gonna go ahead and take. I'm gonna go ahead and take this book really quickly because it should add it to our library. So we can just link back here, instead of having to go through the stupid steam vents again. And then we'll head back and go grab that linking stone. Of course, there's no return book. So that's actually not quite right. So it looks like we're in Eater Akimo now. Some weird slug-like thing on the wall. Not quite sure what that is. Alright, let's go ahead and explore this place since we're here. I mean, why not? These things are just... What, I mean, what are they? So, we, so strange, weird-looking things. Alright, over here we've got some etchings on the wall. Looks like trees. It's too faded to tell. It's also pretty faded. This looks like a... <laughs> I can't tell what any of these things are. Trees! People! And these trees look like the same sort of trees as that right there. Got a nice little fountain here. Um, yeah, let's keep looking around. Much nicer age to be in, it seems, than uh, the previous one. It's actually plant life. It doesn't look like it's barely alive. And here's our first journey cloth. Er, not our first, our third. Because these two ages are connected to each other. As we could have inferred that from the uh, book. The Proverbs book. Some bamboo forest, nice little gazebo sort of thing. And, um, I don't know, keep going down the path, I guess. Okay, so there's the door, which gets us to the pillar room. Here's, uh, image of the door, maybe. Actually, I don't know. Over here, once again, I can't quite tell. It's all a little bit faded. Here we've got a picture of what looks like a human, maybe, with a lot of dots of light around it. Some sort of person thingy? Not sure. Here we've got some uh, brain trees, I'm gonna call them. I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing. Or pretty, a uh, pretty good name for them, sorry. 
Another one of those weird slug things. And over here we've got some fireflies, it looks like. Yeah. It's not too bad there. Um. And if I walk around, they're following me. So we got spores, things. It's starting to get dark. And it's raining now. And my fireflies have left. So. Here's another gazebo thing. Let's see if there's a journey cloth up here I missed. There might be. There might not be, though. There's definitely some things I missed, though. Here's a pedestal with a Yisha symbol on it. Over here, we've got some sort of statue thing floating in midair. That's wonderful. <laughs> Not too useful, though. Back here... A person with something. Honestly, I don't know. Here we've got a linking stone. Protected from the rain, looks like. And we're gonna go ahead and take that. Since we didn't take the other one yet, might as well see where this one goes. Here we are. Back in... Dunny, it looks like, from the islands and stuff about there. You can see uh, some DRC traffic cones, and remember, Sharper in his journal talked about them slowly restoring the city. There's no one here, though. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope, not much. We can just get a little view of it. So I'm going to head back to Relto, and I'm actually going to go grab the uh, first linking stone in Idrugira, the one that I missed the first time. And we're going to see where that takes us. So, sorry I had to sort of cut off Idrukimo for a little while. But yes, you can see we've got both of our books here. But I've got to go. We really should check that out. So, head on over to the steam thing, and fly, jump on over. Honestly, thus far, this age is not too impressive, to, like, just to be honest. It's, there's really not much here. Am I not on this thing? We, I mean, I guess we don't know what's up that cave that we can't get to. But, whatever. So, let's go ahead and take that uh, linking stone. Wherever it was. Back here, possibly? No. There's definitely a linking stone, just not sure where it is. May have been in the cave. Hmm. Definitely was not in the cave. Um. Hmm. Here it is. So let's go ahead and take this one. And all these linking stones seem to take us to dummy. So let's see where we go this time. Here we are. In a sort of camp. We've seen this sort of blue flower thing before. And we've got some journals about kings and stuff, it looks like. How many journals do we have? There's three, four, five, six, seven journals. Oh boy. Something here. Eight, nine journals. Sack lunch. Let's put this hat on. DRC hat. So, uh, nine journals to read. Yeah, let's see what we've got over here. Just a little view. Um, Alright, so... Let's look at... Um, oh, here's some more journals. 10, 11, 12 journals. Wonderful. And another hat. Let's look through this real quick. 
can see the city of Dunny. Not much to see for this view. But, um... Alright, so... These journals will take a while to read. A long while, to be perfectly honest. So... We're gonna go... I'm gonna go ahead and wait. We're gonna actually go ahead and end this episode here. And then the next episode, we're gonna plow through all of these journals. So this has been Retro Gaming Now, playing... Um, Uru Complete Chronicles. And as always, if you enjoy, rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode where we'll have a reading marathon. Alright, thank you.